They call it the vacant sea. None of the major sea lanes go through it. And you could bury the entire land mass of Asia there, and nobody would know. From there, they could attack anywhere. Well, our last signals intercept indicate that the Japanese task force is heading south towards the Philippines or Southeast Asia. The Captain Thurman of Naval Intelligence here has his own theory about the missing ships. Sir, I believe they'll try to hit us where it'll hurt us the most, Pearl Harbor. It's over 4,000 nautical miles from Japan to Pearl. That's a long distance to steam a Navy, Captain. Your theory is based on what? Well, it's what I would do. It's not exactly hard evidence, Captain Thurman. Well, Admiral, if I had hard evidence, we'd already be at war. Sir, we can read their diplomatic codes faster than they can type them. The Captain Thurman's cryptology team is still trying to crack the naval codes. The intercepts have missing words and garbled lines. So to explain the decrypts, we have to try to interpret what we think they're trying to do. Interpret? You mean guess? They use their informed intuition, sir. We guess. It's like playing chess in the dark. Any rumor, troop movement, ship movement, spine tingle, goosebump, we pay attention to it. When I was in the Asiatic fleet, the locals used to try to get outside of a problem, to try to see the inside. Well, I see a strike on Pearl. It's the worst thing that could happen. A blow to Pearl would devastate the Pacific fleet's ability to make war. So, sir, you would have us mobilize the entire fleet at the cost of millions of dollars based on this spine-tingling feeling of yours? No, sir. I understand my job is to gather and interpret material. Making difficult decisions based on incomplete information from my limited decoding ability is your job, sir. Then break the damn naval code, Captain, so I can make a better decision. <laughs>